for Brother John's message when he spoke about the, the marriage. And when it comes down, there's going to be one last drink uh -huh. of that day. And this church, this fruit that's come off this church is preparing that one last drink. Why? Because we're being pressed. We're, I'm telling you, we're being stomped on. Come on. We're being pressed, and what's going to flow out of us is going to be pure, and it's going to be 100. We drink that 100% grape juice when we come and we do the Lord's Supper. And I tell, you, I tell you what, when he drinks of that drink, it's going to be the last drink for the life. It's going to confirmation everything with that bride, and it's going to be drunk with pride of our master that he has got the one that has dressed herself in white, yes, that on. is spotless and blameless and ready to go to heaven come and ready on. to go. I love him, and I thank him for that drink. But here's what we got to do. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 it says you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devils. Amen. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. You're going to have to pull out your seat and slide it into the table that you're supposed to be eating up and drinking up. He told that little woman of the well if she'd only know who he was. He said, you would ask of me, and I would give you a drink on, that you'll not thirst thirsty. never come again. Come you'll on. not even come back to this well. You'll not ask for that pot, and you will get what you need for the rest of your day. You'll not desire another drink of this world. I don't desire another drink of the world. I desire what God's got. I go back to his well, to his table, to his cup, and say, Lord, I want a drink of you. Because he's what keeps me. He's got all the nutrition. He's got all that this body needs. This body. This body and the flesh body, Brother Larry. He didn't just stop with the spirit. We lay down on the spirit things because the flesh is lazy and don't want to do it. I said, Lord, we're standing up saying we're waiting on you. He's a saying I'm waiting on you. He said, I want a vessel. I want somebody pure. I want a tree to go to. I want somebody to purge with my fullness, with my fruit, with my flavor. He's got a flavor that's going to draw out of you and touch people. Touch him. It's all a big world. It is. But there's people that's come out of the world and they're separate, saith the Lord. Separate of different of changed people. Amen. That ain't the same as they was. But they've changed. They've come out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Then praise be to God and they claim Jesus as the Lord. Everybody says he's my Savior. But when you claim him as the Lord... You'll check up and you put your armor on. You'll be walking in the right shoes. You'll be walking. Now I'm talking about the spirit. You'll be walking in the right shoes. Come You'll on. be walking in the right state of mind. You'll be walking with the right attitude. You'll be walking with the right grammar out of your mouth. Amen. You're going to be walking in the right. These four-letter words still ain't blow over with me. I don't like four-letter word preachers. That's out here cussing and swarping going on Come through on. the week. Amen. And come and get behind the pulpit, losing their temper all the time. He said we must be temperate. These men stand behind this pulpit, has got an example to yes. set Come for on. those that's in the crowd and out there in the world to show them what's proven to be acceptable in a perfect will of God. Uh -huh. To be that way. Yeah. Whether they're in here or out there, they're the same. I Amen. love Jesus, don't you? He's a good God. I'm excited this morning. Excited for the Word. Excited to wake up with Him on my mind. To know Him that He's my Lord and my Savior. Not just my Savior, He's my Lord. There's a lot of people out there, He's their Savior. But when they stand before Him on that day and say, Lord, Lord, He's going to say, Who are you? I never knew you. You're a worker of iniquity. Depart from me and they'll be casted into that lake of fire. Uh -huh. They will with the false prophet and the beast, Brother Larry. Yes. They're going to be done that way. Why? Because they didn't accept Him as Lord. Lord, you'll follow your Lord. You'll reverence your Lord. Come on. But just an old Savior on a tree, they got it all wrapped up. That's all he is, is a Savior. No, he's a Lord. He's the King of Kings. That means if there's any other kings, he's the King of those kings. And he's Lord of Lords. That means if there's any other Lords, he's the Lord of those Lords. That means he's the one and only Jesus Christ of Nazareth that walked the Sea of Galilee, that laid the hands upon the sick, and they recovered. The blind received their sight. The dumb began to talk. The lame walked, Brother Lamb. This Lord of Lords, this King. King of kings, glory, hallelujah. Yes. The one with the hair of white as wool, with the eyes of flame of fire, come that on. come out of come here, a sword, glory, hallelujah, that you'll take today and grow by. Yes. That sword. Amen, come on. God, I love you. Don't it feel good to feel good? Yes. Thank God. Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes.